I dedicate this video to the memory of Mr. Demiji Ajikobi because he is the one who taught me part of what I'll be teaching you in this video. Welcome back to the Tana Adu channel. My name is Tana and I am your tutor, your host on this channel. Here we learn the Yoruba language, we learn about the Yoruba people and their culture and everything in between all related to the Yoruba language and the people. A quick story. During one of our class presentations, a classmate referred to another married classmate as Yafin and Mr. Jacobi, in his usual way, rolled his eyes and retorted, Yafin Ranu, we all laughed. It meant, which nonsense palace is that? And then he went ahead to teach us the distinction between Yafin, Oluri and Ayaba. At least one in two people regard married women as Yafin. I don't want that person to be you. So watch this video to the end and I'm sure you will like the video and subscribe to this channel immediately. In this video, we'll be learning two things. One, the difference between Iyafin, Ayaba and Oluri. And two, how to address women depending on their status. A bonus point in this video will be how to address or what you should call a female depending on their age grade. So let's get right to it. One, Iyafin. This is the one people used to refer to married women. But as you will soon see in this video, they are not related. Iyafin is translated as mother of the palace. Traditionally, Iyafin is a titled lady or woman who serves in the palace in a spiritual capacity. Iyafin also refers to queen dowagers. These queens do not leave the palace even after the death of their husbands. Hence, the title Yafin, mother of the palace, because they literally know the in and out of the palace. Do you now see why you should not call a married woman Yafin? Because Afin won't hear. Ayaba is unanimously translated as queen. And although this is not wrong, it is not only the king's wives who are Ayaba. Traditionally, the eight titled women, the eight priestesses, and all the female Ilari. In addition to the king's wives, are all called Ayaba Three, Olori. Olori is a queen consort. She is the wife of the reigning king. In a polygamous setting, the senior wife is called Olori Agba. During my research for this video, a resource said that Olori is a title used for king's wife in Ileife. It is not only the wives of the current king who are called Olori. Additionally, wives of past kings who have died are also called Olori. I want you to note that these titles are different from Iyaoba, which is the mother of the reigning king. It can be the biological mother or a priestess or a titled woman who fills that position. Now that we've differentiated amongst these titles, how do we address women based on their status? A young single lady is called Omidon. You might have heard of Wunja. Wunja is simply a virgin girl or virgin lady. I want you to pay attention to this next one because you get to finally learn what to call a married woman. A married woman is called Abileko. That is Abi Ilioko meaning in english one who possesses or owns a husband's house like they do say so when you want to introduce a married woman you say lagbaja aya tamedu so for instance mrs iriola irewolede you say arabiri iriola aya irewolede a madam an elderly lady or elderly woman or an old single lady is called Arabian. A divorcee or a woman who separates from her husband is called Adali Mosh. Lastly, to our bonus point, how do you address women based on their age grade or their relationship with you? From 0 to 12, a female is called Omode Bearing. From 13 to 20, she is called Odomo Bearing. From 21 to 30, She's called Omidon. 30 and above, you simply call them Arabian. Mother is Iya, 
grandmother is Iyaya, great grandmother is Iyagba or Iyayaya, great great grandmother is called Iyanla. Your aunt is called Aburuya or Aburo Baba if she is younger than either of your parents. If she's older, Egboya or Egbo Baba. Also, if she's older than your father or your mother, you can call her Iya. However, if she's younger than either of your parents, you call her Iya Kekere. Let's balance the old gender thing. So for the male counterpart, all you have to do is where you have Obiri for the women, you put Okori. So Omode Kori, Odomo Kori. Then Iya is replaced with Baba for man, and that's it. So let's do a recap. Once again, a married woman is called Arabiri, her name, Aya, her husband's name. Call a single lady Oridon, an older single lady Arabiri. Always remember, a married woman is never Iya fin. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you've picked one or two. Till I see you again in another video, have a good time.